Coming up on First at Four, with the human remains identified yesterday as Savannah Spurlock, families of other missing people have renewed hope that their loved ones will be found. And Tropical Storm Barry is gaining steam. Hear how people are already feeling the effects in Louisiana. Now back here in the mountains, we've seen plenty of sunshine on this Friday and the weekend forecast looking even nicer, but the heat is set to make a return. We'll have the details on that coming up in the full forecast. First at four is next. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at Four, the discovery of Savannah Spurlock is giving hope to others with missing loved ones. Sandra Hasty's son, Michael, disappeared four years ago. She has started a missing and murdered Facebook page and hosts a yearly vigil for others with similar stories. WYMT's Phil Pendleton talked to her today about the new hope she has her son's case will also be solved. Michael Gorley is one of the many missing individuals from this part of Kentucky and his mother Sandra Hasty has talked to us many times about the heartache she feels and since her son went missing she has talk to many other people with similar stories, including Savannah Spurlock's family. And she says what happened this week should give her and others a lot of new hope. This sends a message to those responsible for our missing and murdered. You're not gonna get away with it. It's gonna come out eventually. So do the right thing. She says that she knows hundreds of people from all over Kentucky and their very sad stories. She says that she stayed up and watched coverage of the remains found in Garrett County, then stayed glued to the coverage yesterday when it was revealed the body was in fact Savannah Spurlock. I cried. I actually cried all night because I just, all I could think about was her family, her children. Cecil Spurlock, Savannah Spurlock's father, came to one of Sandra Hasty's recent vigils, and she says that's the key. People with similar stories gaining strength from one another. In Lincoln County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. The suspect in the Savannah Spurlock case, David Sparks, is being held in the Lincoln County Jail and will be in court again Monday morning. been a pretty nice end of the work week as far as the weather is concerned across southern and eastern Kentucky. Plenty of sunshine, warm temperatures, and a little bit on the muggy side. Let's take a look at it right now over at the Stonecrest Golf Course. Would not be surprised if there's going to be plenty of people hitting the fairway this evening as we're expecting dry, nice, and warm conditions. And that will uh, keep us through most of the weekend, in fact. Pinpoint Doppler looking dry for now, at least here in the Bluegrass State off to the south a little bit of a different story we'll talk about that here in a minute mid 80s right now across the board 86 williamsburg 82 wise 85 pikeville factor in the humidity feeling just a couple of degrees warmer the local warm spots monticello and uh, jacksboro going into the low to mid 90s remember you can always find the latest forecast on the wymt weather app it's showing we're staying mainly dry through the evening and all eyes in the weather world going to be on Tropical Storm Barry, currently churning down in the Gulf of Mexico, and it may impact our weather next week. We'll take a look at that here in just a few minutes, Steve. All right. Thank you, Shane. That tropical storm is getting stronger as it eyes Louisiana, and the effects from the storm are already being felt. CBS's Hillary Lane is in New Orleans, where residents are getting ready. The city of New Orleans and the surrounding area are bracing for possible record rainfall when Tropical Storm Barry arrives in just a few hours from now. Residents have been told to shelter in place. Man, woman, child, stay off of the street of the city of New Orleans, which we're asking from 8 p.m. onward. The slow moving storm is battering the Louisiana coast with strong waves and 50 mile an hour winds. Officials say the storm could strengthen into a hurricane and cause major flooding. Prepare for heavy rain, slow moving still. This is what we're being told. 
The storm forced thousands of attendees at the Delta Sigma Theta sorority convention to cut short their visit to the Big Easy. Members evacuated their hotels, but some like Michelle Alexander decided to ride out the storm. We were hoping it would, wouldn't be so bad and we can just ride it out, so that's what we're doing. Engineers have closed this gate to prevent surge waters from flooding the city. Hundreds of these gates have now been closed. Uh, time is short. If you have preparations that you need to complete, now is the time. The Mississippi River is expected to crest at 19 feet, just a foot below the tops of the levees. Officials say some areas could see as much as 25 inches of rain. Hillary Lane, CBS News, New Orleans. Officials in New Orleans also postponed the Rolling Stones Superdome concert that was scheduled for tomorrow. They say it is just too dangerous. Labor Secretary Alex Acosta is resigning following criticism over his handling of a controversial sex trafficking plea deal more than a decade ago. Acosta came under fire this week after wealthy financier Jeffrey Epstein was indicted on new sex trafficking charges. The arrest focused new attention on a plea deal Acosta brokered for Epstein in 2008 when he was a U.S. attorney in Miami. Acosta defended the plea deal earlier this week, but today with President Donald Trump at his side, Acosta says he is stepping down. No, cabinet positions are temporary trusts. It would be selfish for me to stay in this position and continue talking about a case that's 12 years old. Epstein spent just 13 months in jail after being charged with molesting teenage girls. Acosta will stay on the job for another week. He says with the economy doing so well, the focus must be on that and not him. The Trump administration continues its focus on immigration policies with raids planned for this weekend to round up undocumented immigrants already in the country. Vice President Mike Pence is expected to tour a detention center where families apprehended at the border are being held on the Texas-Mexico border. Pence says the president is committed to ending the crisis on the southern border. He also says those being detained are receiving the best care. They're providing health care, shelter, food, sustenance uh, in a way that uh, would make the American people proud. Pence's visit comes as the House Oversight Committee is examining the Trump administration's immigration policies. A new report released shows children are being held in government custody for an average of 90 days. More than 21 children have spent a year in detention facilities separated from their families. ICE is expected to carry out illegal immigrant roundups this weekend in 10 cities. Police in Greece say they are doing DNA tests on several people in connection with the murder of American scientist Suzanne Eaton. Police discovered Eaton's body in a Nazi World War II bunker on the island of Crete Monday. Greek officials say she was suffocated to death. The forensic pathologists who carried out the postmortem say her death was far from quick. There are reports in the Greek media that she had knife wounds, she may have been tortured. Can you comment on that? No, I will not comment on that right now. Had she been sexually assaulted? I can't comment right now. Locals say Crete is a peaceful island that is steeped in ancient Greek mythology. They say they are horrified by this killing of a guest on their island. Greek police are not saying if they have any suspects. Head over to Wall Street now on this Friday afternoon. The Dow closes up today more than 243 points. Faculty and staff from a Clay County Elementary School made a trip to see some of their students today. The teachers and others from Paces Creek Elementary made a special delivery, sack lunches for kids on their summer break. More than 20 volunteers from the school showed up to help prepare the lunches. The principal says he is excited about the opportunity to reach out to students during a time he normally does not get to see them. The staff are just unreal on their dedication to doing it. And it just gives us the chance to see our students at home during the summer, let them know that we uh, are thinking of them, that we miss them, and that we're looking forward to the 2019-2020 school year. 255 sack lunches were made today. The sack lunch included a hot dog, water, apple, bag of chips, and a cookie. Coming up on First at Four, there will be a new face on the CBS Evening News next Monday night. We'll tell you what viewers can expect. 
Forecast looking dry for most of the weekend, but with tropical storm Barry looming in the Gulf, rain chances will return to the mountains next week. We'll map out the potential impact from the storm coming up after the break.